Have you ever wondered why you wake up feeling refreshed and invigorated after a great night's sleep? Well, it's not just about feeling good, it's about doing good for your body too. Especially if you're an athlete or someone who loves to work out, sleep is going to be your secret weapon for recovery and muscle growth. Today, let's dive deep into the science behind sleep and muscle recovery and how that's going to make you a better athlete overall and give you that competitive edge you need. Let's start by addressing this first question, which is, does sleep actually help repair your muscles? Yes, sleep plays a fundamental role in muscle repair. During sleep, particularly during the deeper non-REM stages, your body is going to be entering a state of recovery. The pituitary gland releases growth hormones, which stimulate muscle repair and growth. Then blood flow to the muscles will increase. It brings oxygen and nutrients that help recovery and help repair muscles and regenerate your cells. During this period, the hormone prolactin is also released and it aids in the control of inflammation. Not getting enough sleep increases the risk of inflammation in the body. This can make it harder to recover from injuries and increase the chances of getting hurt again. The next question I would like to answer is, will sleeping more help with muscle recovery? Well, the necessary quantity of sleep differs depending on the individual. Generally, adults should strive for between seven and nine hours of sleep per night. If you're physically active, or an athlete, sufficient sleep is even more essential to help your muscles recover. Poor sleep over long periods of time can prevent your body from healing itself. This is going to hinder your athletic performance and increase the risk of injury. However, it's important to note that the quality of sleep is just as important as the quantity. This is where sleep habits and environments come into play. Two things are important. First, sleep in a way that does not worsen any injury you have, as well as sleeping on a mattress that helps you rest and recover comfortably. Now, there's companies out there like Bear, Purple, Amerisleep that are creating mattresses specifically designed for athletes and injury recovery. And to ensure you're getting the most out of your sleep, try tracking your sleep quality with tools like the Whoop Band app. So let's get into a little more details about what happens to you when you sleep. Sleep, it's a complex process during which your body undergoes numerous changes that are vital to your overall health. During the deeper, non-REM stages, your body enters a state of repair and recovery. Sleep affects the body's secretion of growth hormones and prolactin. It also affects the production of other hormones such as melatonin and cortisol. Melatonin is what helps promote sleep, while cortisol is part of the body's stress response system. During the REM stages of sleep, most muscles, they're paralyzed. This is a condition known as atonia. It's also known as sleep paralysis, and no, it's not due to some demonic forces stopping you from moving. Atonia's purpose is to keep the arms and legs from flailing in response to dream content, especially when it gets exciting. This state is critical for proper muscle recovery and overall rest. Now, if you think that's interesting and cool, I want you to firmly press down on that like button and subscribe to show some support. Restorative sleep plays a crucial role in helping your body repair itself. Here's how you can ensure your body repairs effectively during sleep. First, prioritize quality sleep. Make sure you're getting between 7 to 9 hours of sleep each night. If you have difficulty maintaining a sleep schedule, consider getting into bed and forcing yourself to go to sleep and wake up at the same time every day. This is going to help improve your circadian rhythm. Next, you should optimize your sleep environment. Sleep environment plays a big role in the quality of sleep. Ensure your mattresses and pillows are comfortable for your likes, the supportive, that your room is dark, quiet, and at a comfortable temperature. Usually it's in the upper 60s for most people. Also, consider try massage therapy to help with sleep. Massage therapy can be a great way to enhance muscle recovery. By increasing blood flow and reducing tension, a massage can help prepare your body for a good night's sleep. You can schedule a massage to experience this benefit by using the link in the description and scheduling with us at Elite Healers Sports Massage. Another solid tip is to get regular exercise. Regular exercise not only promotes good sleep, but also helps in muscle growth. Just make sure you're not exercising too close to your bedtime, as it might get you all excited and interfere with your ability to sleep. And finally, don't forget to manage your stress. High levels of stress can interfere with your sleep and muscle recovery process. Incorporate stress management techniques such as yoga, meditation, deep breathing, working out exercises into your routine. And it might sound a little bit odd that working out will help, but when you're releasing all that physical stress, 
you're also going to release that mental stress. Just ask anybody who's a gym rat and they'll tell you. I'll speak from experience. Overall, sleep is crucial for muscle repair and recovery. Getting good enough to high quality sleep is essential for your body to recover from the physical stresses of daily life. This is going to help you stay healthy and energized. Remember, your body does its best to help you heal during sleep. So if you're skimping on sleep, you're not giving your body the chance it needs to recover, repair, and grow stronger. Invest in your sleep and you're investing into your long-term health. Now, what I want to do is have you check out this really helpful video right here and let's continue improving your knowledge.